Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As some of you might have noticed, over the last few months, Lexi and I have not been posting as much as usual. And I don't want to sit here, sugarcoat it, lie to you guys, be very vague about it. I want to be very straightforward. Lexi and I are about to break up. I've shot this video like eight or nine times now over the last week because I've gone through so many different emotions. It's been an emotional roller coaster. I wrote down everything I want to say, but also that way you guys have every single answer you need to know what's happened, what's been happening, and what's going to be happening going forward. It's just me today. Lexi wanted to be here to tell you guys and explain, but I'm not letting her. I just feel more comfortable doing this on my own. Social media today is not what it was five years ago or even what it was before COVID. There's a standard of being perfect online all the time. And the reality is no one's perfect. For a little bit of background, we've been making content since September 2020. And for those that might know, my mom passed away from cancer five years ago. Since then, the dynamic between myself and my family has changed drastically and not in a positive way. It resulted in my father and I having some really severe problems that led to me falling to a deep depression. This is probably the hardest video I've ever had to film, not only how many times I've done it, but of how severe the situation actually is. And I'm not talking about Lexi and I. I I'm talking about the situation between my father and I. I really want to dive further on what's been going on, but I'm genuinely afraid. I'm terrified to open up about it because I know if he sees this video, he's not gonna have anything nice to say. The harsh problems that have been occurring between my father and I have been apparent since Lexi and I first started dating and it's only gotten worse. Lexi has done everything in her best abilities to since we started dating to help mitigate every situation to know about. And I know if it wasn't for Lexi, I wouldn't be sitting here in front of you guys today nor would any of this social media stuff ever actually be possible. She was the one who originally had the idea to start posting content in the first place. She was everything I ever dreamed of and I was willing to do anything I could at the time to make her happy. So I did the social media because I knew it would make Lexi happy. The thing is also at the time we didn't know where the social media stuff was gonna go. We were just being silly, having fun making videos together as a couple. I will say even though I didn't want to make all the content stuff at the time, making those videos with Lexi are some of the happiest memories I've ever had in our relationship. Although as we were growing on social media, yeah. The problems between my dad and I were growing as well. So we decided to pick up, move to New York City, try to do the social media thing, see where it would take us, and then try to get jobs in the fields we wanted to. In hindsight, it was a genius plan. In reality, it was the worst decision we've ever made in our entire relationship. The problems got so so, so bad that Lexi sat me down and said, listen, I see how bad you're getting. I see how you're not okay. And I really want you to be. So I want you to step back, worry about yourself and not worry about anything about social media because I'll take care of everything. And that's what I did. So in my brain, after Lexi told me that I prioritized only the relationship and the problems of my dad, and I neglected the work completely, letting Lexi control everything we had to do for social media. And for a moment, it actually all worked. We were growing significantly in New York. We were doing really well, but the problems between my dad and I were just too significant that they weren't going away. And they were only, don't ask me how, they were only getting worse. It led to periods where I was getting better and then I was falling back even deeper every single time. And it built a cycle. One day I could be on my peak, I could be so great. And the next day I was five levels lower than I was three days before. And we were growing so much. It wasn't just TikTok anymore. It was YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat, so many different things and Lexi was controlling everything. We were getting brand deals, going to events. We had all these amazing opportunities and I was the only person not seizing any of it. We decided that maybe moving away from my father and my family was the better decision for us. So at the beginning of 2022, we decided to pick up and we moved to Boston. And at that point, the growth on the social media side was so beyond anything we could ever imagine. I was so blinded to the fact that Lexi was working her ass off, making five TikTok videos a week, two YouTube videos. And let me tell you guys, each of these YouTube videos that Lexi puts out for us takes eight to 10 hours to make each. So let's put this into perspective. She got a master's degree. She was taking care of me. She moved twice and she was handling our entire job for us. It was way too much work for one person to handle. Since we are a couples page, we know that work should be split between the two people and I wasn't doing it. And inevitably this started to cause problems between us. She came to me for help multiple times and we would tell each other that we would split the work, that we would find ways that we'd build these schedules. Lexi held up her end of the bargain during this entire thing and I did not. Lexi burnt herself out so bad. She started losing herself, her confidence, her creativity. She lost everything that made her her. She fell into a deep state of depression as well. She lost the ability to help me work through my problems. She lost the ability to come up with content ideas to produce all these videos for you guys. And because she was so focused on saving the work and saving me, she couldn't save herself from falling. 
And as soon as the content started slowing down because she got burnt out, everything got exponentially worse. We started getting into this toxic cycle of not working, taking breaks, then working again, then getting mad for taking the break, then taking another break. And inevitably, this ended up making us angrier and angrier and angrier with ourselves, with each other. And I still didn't bother trying. And because this was just getting worse and worse and worse and worse, we started to clearly see a wedge build between us and our relationship. We started to realize that we forgot how to communicate how to appreciate and how to love each other the right way that we did when we first started dating. It was something that it was neither of our fault, but it ended up building a hatred and resentment towards each other that neither of us could properly understand. We really do love each other. She is literally the best person I've ever met in my entire life. I know for a fact she's the smartest, most intelligent, most caring, most loving. She's the best person I've ever ever encountered in my entire life there is no one i would rather spend the rest of my life with and there's no one i would rather fight till the very very end to make sure none of this goes away i can't stand to see her in this state anymore i don't want to break up with lexi and i know she doesn't want to break up with me i think we've also been realizing that sometimes you meet the right person at the wrong time and frankly i think that's what happened with us we were meant to meet and i think we are soulmates and we were meant to be together but i think we met at the wrong time that's just life and for those of you that say that those relationships don't work out screw that we're gonna work out and we're gonna be better than we've ever been before i would give up everything in my life for her and she would yell at me for saying that and that's why i love her so much so to keep us together Together, we've mutually decided to take a momentary break from one another. Lexi needs some time off of social media and I need some time alone to get my priorities in order. It's extremely difficult but we know it's the right thing because you guys gotta remember at the end of the day there would be no content if there was no Austin or Lexi. We realize now that every relationship is a two-way street but a relationship cannot thrive if the people in the relationship are not okay with themselves. As for my family issues, I am working on that too. I don't have a definite answer on what's gonna be happening with that right now, but I do know this for sure. I wanna have a relationship with my father and I want everything to be okay. But right now I need to learn to separate that part of my life with this part of my life. You guys are a family and you guys deserve to know what's been going on for the last few months. For now on, we will be coming to you guys a lot sooner when these problems do occur, but not every time. Our relationship is private and we do want to keep it that way as much as possible. Since we know we are a couple content creators, everything about our relationship comes online. But there are aspects to it that we do want to keep private to ourselves and we hope you guys could respect that. So for the time being, we are gonna take this break from one another and we're gonna try to work through this. You guys gotta realize we're 23 and 24. We do not have our lives together at all. And we're really tired of pretending that we should. Social media can be very dangerous and we need to figure out how to do this the right way. We will never lie to you guys and I'm sorry if this seems a little over dramatic or it seems like we've always been having problems because the truth is we were and this was long overdue. We, we really do love you guys and we've really, really been afraid to come out about this for a very long time because we were afraid what you guys might think of us, what you guys might say about us and we really don't want to warp the perceptions that you guys might have towards us because the problems that we're having do not determine who we are as people. Every single person has problems in their life. We're going to come back better than ever the simp king and queen are not going anywhere we love you all and we'll see you guys real soon that's a wrap